Hi, I'm Andrea Arden, and this is my foster puppy, Dylan. He's about eight weeks old, and he's a hound mix, and he's been with me for just about 24 hours. I spent the first 24 hours with him, just letting him get adjusted and kind of decompress and get comfortable in the environment and with me. Um, but today, we're gonna start with some <laughs> training sessions, just helping Dylan learn the beginnings of core manners. And core manners um, means sit, stand, and down. Um, we're also going to work a little later on the beginnings of come when called and some impulse control. But for right now, we're going to start with sit, stand, and down. And the way that we're going to teach this is using what's called lower reward training. <laughs> He's very kissy. Um, so lower reward training is when you hold something in your hand that the puppy likes, um, in this case a piece of food, and you use it to move them through space. So all we need are some tasty treats, and then we also need to choose what's called a marker word. So a marker word is a word that's short. I use the word yes. Some trainers use good. Some people use a clicker. Um, it doesn't really matter which you choose as long as you're consistent and you make sure that you consider the marker word a sort of contract. So every time you say it, you're gonna follow it up with a tiny tasty food reward to make sure that your dog makes an association between that word um, and something that they really want. So the marker essentially acts as a way of taking a very precise picture for your dog of what it is that they're doing at the exact moment they hear it um, results in something good. So I'm gonna start by just holding a little tasty treat at Dylan's nose. And if I want him to sit, I'm gonna move my hand up and back slightly, yes. And then the moment that his little rear hits the ground, I'm gonna say my marker word. Again, I'm gonna take my hand, keep it on his nose. I'm not gonna raise it up high because he's just gonna jump for it. And as I said, we're gonna work on impulse control later, but for right now, keeping my hand right there on his nose so that he's not jumping about. And I'm gonna lift my hand up and back, yes. And the moment that he sits, I'm gonna say the word yes. So a couple more times so you guys can be sure to get this. Hand up and back, yes. Do it one more time, and yes. You'll notice that I am not saying the word sit at this point. And the reason for that is because I don't wanna add a verbal cue um, until I'm confident that I can get the puppy to do the behaviors I want. There's really no rush to add verbal cues. I think people oftentimes think that they have to say, sit, sit, sit to the dog to get them to learn. When in fact, all we want right now, yes, is for Dylan to learn to follow my hand um, and to learn the marker word. So if I want Dylan to go into a down, I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna go straight to the ground, yes, right between his feet. So I'm kind of folding him back like a table. When you're luring for the down, make sure that when you move your hand to the ground, you don't go down and then forward because your puppy is likely to stand up. So your hand goes down and in, yes, towards the puppy. So again, we've now got sit, which is a slight movement up and back, yes. We've got down, which is a movement down and into your puppy. And I was delayed in marking because I'm chatting with you guys. So we also wanna work on stand. And to get the stand, we're gonna move our hand through space to where our dog's nose would be naturally when they're standing. So I'm gonna take my hand and go up and forward. Get over here, you. Just to where I think his nose would be, yes, when I want him to stand. So all three behaviors, we've got sit, yes. We've got our down, which is our hand going straight down and in, yes. And then we've got our stand, which is up and forward, yes. So again, try not to add verbal cues yet. There's plenty of time for that. This is really all just about getting a puppy to start to understand that following human hands through space um, is a good thing. And then once we have a puppy who's super reliably responding to our hand movements, then we can add the verbal cue right before we move our hand so that we'll develop a puppy who has responsiveness to verbal cues as well as hand signals. Good puppy. You are a good puppy.